Hey guys, this is going to be another quick Linux command video. Check the link in the description for more info and for copy and paste examples. All right, the Linux hex dump command can be used to display files in hex or other formats. It's great for you, for you viewing binary data or text data with special characters. So <clears throat> you can show data in a two byte hex, for example. So um, let's take a file like, um, let, let's see here, hex dump. Now this is useful partly, one, you could use this for binary files, like debugging things or or what, whatever else, if you want to examine a binary file. But also if you happen to have a text file with special characters, maybe they're messing up a script so it doesn't execute properly, and you think there might be non-printable characters in there that are getting interpreted by the shell the wrong way, it could be great for, in, for uh, troubleshooting something like that. So any case, you can say hex dump, and you can specify a file, like um, for example, usr bin ls. So the ls binary, the binary for that command, we're gonna use hex dump on that. And there we go, you get a nice big hex dump. So you can see the address or the offset in the file over on the left here. And you can see all of the actual bytes and data in the file here. So let's see, you, you can also, for short, instead of saying hex dump, you can say hd, hd, for, short for hex dump. And that actually gives you some other options by default too. It'll give you, um, let's see, actually, let's see here. Yeah, so this will give you, <clears throat> by default, this gives you, um, you know, one, uh, one byte uh, units and uh, still gives you the uh, offsets here and it gives you some text output over here. So that's kind of nice. So now if you're using the hex dump command like this, you can specify a dash C like this. And that will also give you that same format that we just gave you with just HD. Now, um, let, let's see here, which HD? So HD is a shortcut here. And off the top of my head, I have not looked for, there's probably an alias or something that specifies a dash C. So when you run HD, it runs hex dump dash C. But uh, any case, um, let's see, what else can you do? Yes, yeah, so that is, uh, let, let's try a, a text file actually. So let's try um, HD Etsy word. So you can you can view the password file, right? <clears throat> so you see a bunch of text in the uh, on the right column over here and all the the uh, hex data over here. So um, yeah, that's how you would view a, a text bit that's viewing a text based file versus a binary file, right? So um, let's see, what else do we wanna show you? All right, you can use a V to, oh yeah, so if you have duplicate lines in a file, like if you have two lines that are identical, it's gonna show you, um, I'm not seeing any examples of that here, but it would show you, it'll show you an asterisk, right? So it collapses those lines and shows you an asterisk. I don't have a good example of that here, but you can avoid that by, um, oops, by, uh, by using a dash V. So say if you had a dash C, you might just add a dash V on there to not collapse some lines, if that's a feature that you'd like. And that's basically everything that I want to cover, um, you know, in regards to the hex dump command for today. Remember, check the links in the description for more info. Hit the subscribe button for more useful content like this. We also have a ton of other more interesting content covering things like coding, hardware, software, servers, Raspberry Pis, 3D printing, and a whole lot more. Hopefully you found this useful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.